Next, we are going to discuss important parameters used in this direct broadcast satellite system. The first one is orbital spacing. For DBS services, the orbital spacing is 9 degree to reduce the adjacent satellite interference. So, we need to have orbital spacing as 9 degree in this DBS services. So, next one is power rating and number of transponders. So, this direct broadcast satellite services require higher EARP. EARP means equivalent isotropic radiated power that is the transmitted power for the services. So, its range is from 51 dB watt to 60 dB. Here the transponders are rated by their output power of high power amplifiers like TWTA. TWTA means Travelling wave tube amplifier. So, it is a high power amplifier in a transponders. For example, well here we can consider that a satellite may carry 32 transponders each with 120 watt. So, if I am going to increase the output power of the transponder, for example, each transponder with 240 watt, what will happen means instead of 32 transponders, I can send only 16 transponders. Do you understand this concept? If I am going to increase the output power of our amplifiers used in a transponder, the number of transponder is reduced. That is the meaning of this. So, the number of transponders can be reduced by increasing the power of high power amplifiers. So, that is what given here. So, 32 transponders with each 120 watt is equivalent to 16 number of transponders with 240 watt. Do you all understand this one? So next frequencies and polarization. So frequencies for DBS vary from region to region. Here the frequency range for high power satellites are given uplink 17.3 to 17.8 gigahertz for downlink 12.2 to 12.7 gigahertz. Okay. Similarly we can have the frequency range for medium power satellites low power satellites. We come to know that the average bandwidth is around 500 megahertz because for uplink its value is 17.3 to 17.8. So what is the difference? It is only 500 megahertz, right? So for a total number of 32 transponders, each bandwidth is given as 24 megahertz plus 3 megahertz as quad band between two channels, okay? In order to permit frequency reuse, the transponders use both RHCP as well as LHCP. For example, out of 32 transponders, 16 may be RHCP, the remaining 16 may be the LHCP. It supports both the polarization, okay, for making the transponder as frequency reuse. So, the next one is, is transponder capacity and bitrate. So, DBS TV supports many more channels at a time. So, so, signal compression is used for many channels to reduce the required bandwidth. So, it is a highly complex process to compress all the signals together. Since we are using QPSK modulation in digital TV system, the symbol rate as well as bit rate, these two are important for signal compression. So here the symbol rate is given as intermediate frequency bandwidth to 1 plus rho. So here intermediate frequency bandwidth is nothing but 24 megahertz. Next rho is nothing but roller factor its value is 0 0.2. So RS is equal to what now? 24 divided by 1 plus 0 0.2. So its value is 20 mega symbols per second. Per second we can rate the symbols as 20 into 10 to the power 6. So then the bit rate can be calculated as 2 times the symbol rate. So here we can get the bit rate for digital TV using QPSK modulation is 40 megabits per second. For digital TV the bit rate depends on the picture format. For example the uncompressed bit rate is the product of number of pixels in a frame, number of frames per second and number of bits used to encode the pixel, okay. So here for high definition TV format, 
the pixel count is 1920 cross 1080. Its refresh rate is 30 frames per second. Here the bit rate is 118 megabits per second to 995 megabits per second. So it ranges from lowest pixel resolution to highest pixel resolution. So for sports channel, we need large bit rate because there are a lot of movements in a channel. Similarly, a reality show only 4 megabits per second is enough. Okay. So next one is MBAC compression standard. So in this DBA system, this MBAC compression standard is very important. MBAC means moving pictures expects group standard. So it is mainly focused only with bitstream syntax and decoding process. So bitstream syntax means it includes its bit rates, picture resolution, time frames for audio, packet details and also the remaining fine details of the signal. So here we can have different types of MBAC standards available. MBAC 1, 2, 4 and 7. In direct broadcast satellites, MBAC 2 standard is used for video compression. MBAC 1 is used for audio compression. This one is forward error correction, simply FEC. So whenever we are talking about signal compression, it is highly complex signal because we are going to compress audio signal, data signal, video signal all together. Okay, in order to reduce the bandwidth. So here, bit errors may occur in this highly compressed DBS signal. So this can be controlled by using forward error control mechanism. So in this one, we are going to add overhead bits to the bit stream to control the errors. There are different kinds of coding methods used to control the errors. Random errors are corrected by convolution code. Block errors are corrected by read Solomon code. So here we can use Darbo codes, LDPC codes to control the errors in signal compression. So mainly for HDTV to increase the transponder capacity.